In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Hicktop AL13310. This printer isn't available yet. I was sent a sample to try out, so some things may change when this printer actually goes to market. Currently, there's not much information about this printer on the internet, so they sent me over a list of the main pros of the AL13310. So before I open this printer, this is what we should expect. So this says, the main pros are the axes in three directions of X, Y, and Z are completely the same structures. Each axis is constructed with a linear guide rail and screw rod, which greatly improve the printing accuracy. If any axis is damaged, it can be replaced directly. It uses TMC2209 silent drives on the motherboards and supports high speed printing of 300 millimeters per second, but special PLA is required. This AL13310 uses an auto level sensor on the extruder to locate 25 different points on the PEI sheet on the hotbed. The location of the print bed is fixed, so there's no screws or springs needed to adjust the height. You only need to set the Z offset after leveling and you're good to go. So those are some key features about this new printer. Now let's build it. All right, so we have the user manual. We have a spool of filament. They also sent me three additional spools that I have behind me. So here we have the hot end and let's open this up. Oh, just looks like some spare screws and extra tools. Okay, I'm going to remove this top layer and see what's underneath. And here's the base of the printer. So I guess this is what it should look like. Okay, since there's no YouTube guides or any type of information on how to set up this printer, we are going to go based off of these directions. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Check out this filament holder setup. So you lift it up, put the filament on it, you can put it back down and there's a magnet here. So that holds it into place and it's not gonna come off. That's pretty cool. I've never seen something like that. I really like that. Now I'm pretty much done. Step five is just plugging everything in. And this is a super straightforward setup, bed, extruder, screen, X, Y, Z. So let's go ahead and get these plugged in. All right, got everything plugged in. Now the last thing I need to do is set up the screen. All right, now we got this printer unboxed and set up. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll be testing this printer out and printing some things from the 3D Print Farming Patreon catalog.